what's good people today again from scissor graphics welcome to my channel if you're new don't forget to hit the subscribe button and remember to hit the bell so you will be notified when i post my tutorials okay and i want to say a big thank you to those of you who have subscribed to my channel i really appreciate you guys so today i'm going to be teaching you guys how to make this lovely looking pot poster and without any further ado roll the intro So I'm going to create a new document now, and file, and I'll select new. And for this project, I'm going to be using 1080 by 1050. Because I'm posting this on Instagram, so I'm going to make my resolution 90, and I'll hit OK. So let's draw a shape. next is to create a new layer and i'll call this so i'm going to fill this with my background color because i have black here so i'm going to hold on control and fill it with black all right so let's bring in the picture of the manager all right so i'm going to hold on control to create my key of that shape and i'll select the vector max icon here so I'm going to click on the chain connecting the thumbnail and the vector max of the layer. So I'm going to click on this. Now, now the reason why I'm doing this is because I want to be able to move the picture of my character independently. Because if I have the chain now and I try to move the picture, you see I have that cut out part as part of the movement. So I'm going to remove the chain now and I'll be able to move my picture around. And I'm just going to position this somewhere here. And I'm going to just use the thing. We transform to, to just kill it. Use the brush too. I'll be using the soft rounded brush here to just take out some part of the picture. So I'm going to click on the vector mask and I'm going to increase the size of my brush and I'm just going to brush this out like so. So next is to bring in the picture of money and I'm just going to scale this big like so. And this should be behind the picture of the manager. So I'll hold down control and click to bring out the Marquee selection of that shape and I'll select the vector mask again on that layer. And for this one, I'm just going to select brush and I'm just going to take out some part of this. okay so i'm gonna put the um, layers in a group now so i'm gonna hold on shift and select the to, to the last layer and i'll hit ctrl g on my keyboard and i'm gonna open this but i need to rename it I'm gonna record. all right so i'm gonna start with the picture of the manager now what i'm trying to do here is i'm trying to split the black from white so to do that i'm gonna click on the black and white adjustment here and i'm gonna move this to be above all the layers like so all right and on the picture of the manager i'm just going to click on the curve adjustment here and i want it to just apply to just the picture of the manager and i'm just going to drag this down like so up so as to be able to see some part of the face like so i'm just going to push this up like so do the same thing here just like so all right so the next thing i'm going to do is to click on the layer of the manager here and i'm just going to add a new layer and i'll fill this with black all right, I'll add the vector mask, hit the control I on my keyboard, and I'll select brush. And I'm just going to brush, I'm going to switch this to white, and I'll zoom in, and I'm just going to brush like so. Turn my flow to something around 11, and I'm just going to brush like so. All right, so because I want this to apply to just only the um, darker part of the picture, I'm going to blend if this. So I'm just going to double click here to bring out the blend if option. And sorry, 
So I'm just going to move this to the side like so. I'll click on this to break the handle with Alt and I'm just going to push this in. I'm going to click OK. All right now I'm still seeing some um, lighter part of the picture. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold down Alt and click. All right. And this time I'm going to just change this to overlay and I'll fill the I'll check the fill with overlay neutral color option here and I'm just going to call this burn and I'll hit OK. So I'm going to just uh, select the bond tool here and I'll increase the size of my brush. And I'm just going to brush like so. So I'm going to apply the same effect to the other pictures. I'm going to make a copy of this, all right, and I'll hide this, right click on this and convert it to a smart object and I'll go to filter, stylize and I'll select oil paint, click OK, um, click on the level adjustment and I only want this to apply to just only this layer. So I'm going to select the layer of the characters and I'll go to filter and I'll select other and I'll, I'm going to click on custom. So I'm sure some of you have never used this filter before. So I'm just going to click on OK. So as you can see, I have all this black stuff on their faces, which I don't want. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just create a new layer above the layers and I'll call this whites. All right. And I'm going to choose the brush too. So I'm going to be using the brush to take this effect off your faces. I'm just going to click on this. Now, I feel need to go back to 100. And I'm just going to take out this effect on your faces. All right. I'm going to do here. So the next thing we're doing is to add the rain effect to this project. So I'm going to click on the new layer icon here and I'll call this rain. And I'm going to fill this with my background color with control backspace. And I'll go to filter, render, hit cloud. And I'll go to filter again. And this time I'm going to go to the filter gallery. So just push this up to about 15. The pencil width should be 2. Then I'm going to just hit OK. Um, so I'm going to rotate this. With, uh, I'm going to use the free transform to rotate it. I'm going to rotate it like this. And I'll hit enter. I'm going to change this to screen. All right. So I'm going to make a copy of it. You are beginning to see the rain effect. And I'll shift select the two layers. And I'll hit Ctrl E. And I'll change it to screen again. All right. And I'll use the free transform. Scale this down. All right. So this here. So I'll make a copy of this. So it's here. Make a copy of it again. So it's here. Copy. Just keep making copies. All right. So I'm going to put everything in a group. So I should select this and hit Ctrl G on my keyboard. And I'll call this rain. So to make this rain is first stronger, I'm gonna make a copy of this. You can even rotate the two layers, just like so. And I'm gonna make a copy of this again. And this time I'm gonna just make this smaller. 
the copy so yeah then the next thing i'm going to do is to put everything again in a group and i'll call this rain i'm going to create a new layer now and i'll call this white and click ok so i'm going to fill this with white and i'll add the vector mask and i'm going to hit the eye on my keyboard and i'm going to just select brush tool and go to the brush settings so i'm going to click on this brush now if you want to learn how i create this brush i'm going to put the link above here so you guys can just click on it watch how i create this custom brush and i'll change my flow to And the next thing I'm going to do is to add noise. So to do that, I'm going to hold on Alt and click on the new layer icon here. And I'm going to hold this noise. And I'm going to just change this to soft light. And I check the fill with soft light neutral color 50% gray option. And I'm going to hit OK. Next, I'm going to go to filter and just select noise. And I'm going to say add noise. So if I zoom in now and I increase the size of my noise, you see I'm going to have this paper fill details on the project and I'm going to hit OK. So and the next thing I'm going to do is to create a new layer again and I'll call this um, field. Alright, switch to black, select the brush tool, make this go to 100 and I'm going to check the transfer option here like so and I'm going to choose the uh, pair pressure option here. Now if you don't have a graphics tablet, you can always use the flow to uh, apply the same effect okay and i'm just gonna brush i'm gonna select the brush tip now and i'm gonna choose this type of brush now click here to drag this in it is the size of my brush so i'm gonna add a vector max to the layer I'm going to brush this in like so. So I'm going to move this to go behind this so as to have that noise um, effect on it also. And I'll come back again. I still, I think I still need to add more brush to this. I'm going to scale this down. And I'm just going to add more brush to this, like so. So I'm going to put my next picture, like so, and I'm going to scale this down. So I need to convert this to uh, a silhouette. So to do that, I'm going to first of all click on the black and white option here and say I want this to apply to just only the layer of. Um, these two characters and I'm going to select the curve adjustment click on this icon again and I'm going to push this down I think I need to move them below the layer of the rain alright and I'm going to just uh, make a copy of the rain and this time I'm just going to rotate this I need to zoom out so I'm going to rotate this like this and I'll position this here like so now this should be above the layer so as to be able to see it on so for those of you that care to know the typeface that i use for the title is called hopeful titling and um, so this is the final result 
I hope you enjoyed today's tutorial and if you have not subscribed, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and remember to ring the bell so you will be notified when I post my tutorials. I'm going to be doing more of something like this for you guys. I'll see you guys again in my next tutorial. Peace.